Getting started with your new vertical response for Salesforce account couldn't be easier. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to create a mailing list, select an image, and send out your email. This is going to be a quick demo to give you an idea on how to get started, but every week there's a live demo that you can attend and ask questions. There'll be more information about this live demo at the end of this video. Once you've installed Vertical Response into your Salesforce account, you'll see three new tabs. What we're going to cover in this quick demo is creating an email, creating a list, and then taking a look at the statistics. So one of the important differences about using Vertical Response for Salesforce is that you can create a new mailing list based on information from your leads and contacts in your Salesforce account. If you're using campaigns, you can also use a campaign as a mailing list, but for this short demo, I'm going to take you through creating a list using leads and contacts from your Salesforce account. First, you'll be able to select where you want your data source to come from. I'm going to select all leads and contacts in order to create a list of both my leads and contacts. Setting up the parameters for the query will require just pulling in the information from the lead fields that are available in your Salesforce account. These are the default fields that come with the account, plus any custom fields that you might have made. We can also query on owner fields as well, and this is going to be the first parameter I set up for my email. I can continue to add as many fields as I need to. I can select specific companies, or even people who live in a certain area if I'd like to invite them for an event. Whatever information you require for creating your list, as long as it's part of the lead detail section, you will be able to use that to create your list. Just like creating parameters for leads, contacts are fields that are default with your Salesforce account, plus any custom fields that you may have made. And because contacts are associated with accounts, you can also query on account level data as well. The contacts that I'm going to set up, the contact query that I'm going to set up is going to be just like my leads. Plus again I can continue to add other fields. If I wanted to include company that would be under account name normally. I can put in a specific region and again I can keep adding filters. Once the parameters have been set up, click Next Step. On this step, you can select the information you would like to bring into the Vertical Response account. Just click the box on the right-hand side. You can even create custom fields if there's information that you would like to include. Click Next Step. This will bring up a preview of how the query is working. If everything looks good on this page, click Next Step, and our system will finish creating the mailing list for you, and you'll be able to save your list. You can name your list anything you like. This is only for your reference. Your recipients will not see this information. If you are using campaigns from Salesforce, at this point you could add this list to a campaign. My list has been created. We also have a library of images that you can use for your emails. From the VR Email tab, scroll to the bottom and click Media Library. From here you can upload images that you can use for your emails, logos, or other images to use within the body of your email. Simply click Upload Images, browse your computer, and upload the image you'd like to use. We also have a gallery of images that you can use as well. We have them broken down into different categories, but you can also search for certain categories that you want to use. Mousing over the images will bring up a bigger view of what it's going to look like. And then to select it, simply click on the link, either small or large. Generally for emails, you're going to want to click on small. And that will be put in your library. So we now have a mailing list and an image to use for the email. We can go take a look at creating an email through Salesforce. Our system will walk you through the steps to create and send your email. The first step is the setup step, and this is basically things that are required by the CAN-SPAM law. The first step is to give your email a name. 
just like naming your mailing list, your recipients will not see this information. So you can call your email anything that works for you. Our system will call it the time and date that you set it up. The next four boxes are the things required by the CAN spam law. The from label needs to be the sender of your email. And generally speaking, that should be your company name. This is what your recipients will recognize most. You'll notice I already have a company name filled in here. And that's because in the account information section up at the top, I have a company name and our system will automatically pull that in to create your from label. You can change this, but generally you want it to be your company name. The subject line should be something that's interesting to get your recipients to want to open the email. The CAN spam law says that it has to pertain to the content of your email. So you can't use anything tricky to get people to open the email. Also, most email programs have a limit of how many characters they'll show. So you want to keep your subject line fairly short as well. At the bottom of the email, we add a footer. And the footer, again, contains information that is required by the law. You must have an unsubscribe mechanism, and vertical response will take care of this for you. So if anyone clicks unsubscribe, this will be marked as part of the reporting, as well as in your mailing list. You also must have a valid postal address for the sender of the email. Again, this is already pulled in for me because my account information has it set up. Otherwise, you have to fill this in every time. The very last box is the reply to email address. And this is where any responses to your emails will be sent. Clicking Next will bring up the different email editors. Email Wizard is the one that we recommend for everyone. This is a basic templating system, has some drag and drop formatting and a toolbar that works like any word editing program you've ever used. Email Canvas is a more sophisticated version of the wizard. It has the same 700 templates available. There's more you can do with the menu and you have access to the HTML code if you know HTML. Freeform HTML is for advanced users because this one doesn't have any templates. You're just going to copy and paste your code into it. Text only is just a plain text email. And as a Salesforce user, if you've already created templates in Salesforce, you can import those and use them for your email. I'm demoing the wizard today. I'm going to click Next. And this will bring up all the different templates. As I said, there's about 700 templates, so you're going to want to look through the different categories for a template that you like. The drag and drop formatting are the content blocks over here, and you can drag any of these into your email to set it up to look the way you want it to. If you want to get rid of any of the ones that we've added, click the red dot and then click OK. You can move any of these around once they've been added. To use the toolbar, I'm just going to highlight this text. So you can bold, italicize, underline, strike through. You can change the color of your font. You can change the alignment. You can add bullets. You can change the size of your text. And you can even change the font. Now, once you've set up your text, you can also start adding links and images. To add a link, just highlight the text that you want to use. Click the icon that looks like a chain. Type in your URL. And click Submit. Our system will set this up as a link, and when it goes out, your recipients will be able to click on it, and our system will track clicks on it so you'll know who is clicking the links and when they're clicking them. You can also add images in your email. Just click where you want them to go, click the image button, and then I can grab that picture of the Golden Gate Bridge out of my library, and there's my picture. Once the email is set up the way you want to use it, click Next. And you'll need to, on this step, you'll preview the HTML version of your email, the text version, and at the bottom of the page, you can send a test. The next page will allow you to select your mailing list. This is the one that I created today. And the last step is to send out your email. The default send date is as soon as possible, but you can change this 
and mail out up to four months in advance. You can share your email on Twitter and Facebook. We have an integration with Google Analytics. Once you send your email, you'll also be able to update the information back into your Salesforce account, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So my email has been sent out. At this point, I can go to the VR Statistics tab and take a look at the statistics. One of the first things that you can do here is update this information back to the leads and contacts in your Salesforce account. So if you select the name of your email, click Update Statistics, our system will send the opens, clicks, bounces, and unsubscribes back to your leads and contacts in Salesforce so you and anyone using your Salesforce org will be able to see the information about the email. Clicking on the name of the email will give you more specific information about how your email did. So we'll give you an overall view here of the opens, clicks, bounces, and unsubscribes. We'll track the social response to your email. We'll track clicks on links. We have a comparison of emails at the bottom of the page. And under download lists, you'll be able to see specifics. So you can see who's opening the email, and you'll see the time and date that they do that. Same with links that are clicked, any information shared on social media, as well as unsubscribes and bounces. Once you've updated information back into your Salesforce account, you'll be able to see how your email campaign did under our custom object, VR Email History. You'll be able to see the actions taken by your recipients. And if you click on the name of the email, you'll also be able to see the email that was sent out. And this is the same for contacts as well. So select a contact. And again, you can see the information under VR email history. That's a quick overview of using the vertical response for Salesforce integration. As I said, we do these demos every week and they're live. So if you would like to attend a demo where we go into more details and you can ask questions, please go to our help site, help.verticalresponse.com. And on the right hand side, you'll be able to see where you can sign up for a live weekly demo. Thanks.